Okay, I hope you see my screen now. Okay, uh, uh, my name is Fadili Mustafa Malesa from the School of Aquatic Science and Fishery Technology of the University of Dar es Salaam. I'll be presenting on spatial temporal variation of zooplankton and fish larvae community structure in seagrass areas of Tanga coastal waters in Tanzania. And in this study, I'm collaborating with Margaret Kualianga from the Institute of Marine Science and the Barnabas Tarimo, a PhD student from Stockholm University in Sweden. So uh, from the first three pictures that we see, uh, these are dominant zooplankton genera that were found uh, throughout the sampling periods. And most of them, these are the copy ports that we are able to identify. And the, the three pictures that you see, these are the common uh, fish libraries that we are following throughout the sampling periods. And they are generous, uh, 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 belong in, uh, in Lapridae, Scaridae, and Ibridae. Uh, most of fishes productivity originated from coastal habitats and mainly uh, uh, from coral reef, uh, seagrass, and mangroves. And this is due to higher of uh, availability of food resources and the, and the, and the structural complexity of these coastal habitats, and then make a number of organisms to survive in these habitats. But there is a strong and growing evidence that these coastal ecosystems are declining, and mainly due to anthropogenic stress and natural disasters. And the, the easy spirit of these coastal habitats uh, make them vulnerable to degradation, especially uh, illegal fishing activities that have uh, been conducted in different coastal areas. And then this affects uh, the recruitment of fish larvae and then overall fisheries productivity. And in this study, we focus mainly on the seagrass habitats. And, and, the, and it's due to the functions, uh, structure of these habitats. Uh, the studies of zooplankton and fish live in different seagrass areas, whether these seagrass are degraded or healthy, we investigate uh, the, 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 the structure complexity and the ecological function of these habitats if they're able to support if they're degraded. So uh, in this study, it's very important in predicting the sustainability of fish resources and changing environmental conditions. The study was undertaken uh, in the coast of Tanga, Tanzania. Is the map of, of Tanzania showing uh, uh, the coast of Tanga where the study was undertaken. And the study was divided into two, uh, two parts where, uh, based on the status of seagrass, whether a degraded or health. And in the greater side, these are the sites uh, which are close to the coast first and have low percentage of seagrass cover and experience high intensity of degradation, mainly from fissure stocks, using of beach sand, using of ring nets and trampling affect the, 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 the structure complexity of the seagrass. And these sites were called as degraded. And the, another category is based on, uh, on, on intensity as well of the, of the, of, of the degradation. We, we call it the health site. The, the health site, which is, these are the site first, which are the far, which are far from the coast, and experience little influence from fisher stocks. And then the study was conducted in two seasons, uh, in southeast monsoon season and northeast monsoon season. And in southeast monsoon season, this is the season is uh, 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 experienced high wind, high wind up to nine meter per second speed and low temperatures. Also, there's a little rainfall during the southeast monsoon. Compared to northeast monsoon, uh, there's a, a, a moderate wind speed, which is up to five meters per second. And the, the, it's catalyzed with the short rains and the, and the and, and high temperatures. The, the collection of zooplankton and the fish larvae, uh, uh, we are collected based on, uh, on status of seagrass, as, as I say. So uh, the collection, of zooplankton and fish larvae were, uh, were collected using the main size of 150 micrometer for the zooplankton and 500 micrometer for fish larvae. And the other physiochemical variables, uh, 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 temperature, dissolved oxygen, uh, uh, pH, and the other physiochemical uh, uh, parameters, uh, such as nutrients and cough, we are recorded in laboratories. 
And uh, through cluster, uh, I mean, uh, in data analysis, uh, the community structure of fish larvae and the zooplankton were analyzed uh, uh, using uh, uh, Primer six, whereby the constraint additional analysis were revealed uh, to see the, uh, the, 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 the sequence differences of this community structure in different habitat condition and the season wise. Results and discussions. Uh, there was a significant differences between these physiochemical variables between season and subsite wise, and the high growth R concentrations we are recorded during Southeast monsoon season. And it, it, this is due to uh, uh, the strong wind uh, affect the water agitations in local areas. And this lead to local upwelling that bring a lot of nutrients from bottom oceans and then uh, uh, make a, a lot of nutrients in the surface act as ingredients of phytoplankton to grow. And then this result to high growth air concentration uh, during Southeast monsoon than Northeast monsoon. And this is revealed uh, by different studies, uh, studies that were conducted in the Western Indian Ocean, experienced high growth air concentration during Southeast monsoon than Northeast monsoon. But based on status of seagrass, uh, the, the, the growth air concentrations were observed below in the grid sites in, in, in brown color bars than Southeast monsoon. In terms of nutrient concentration, especially silica, uh, phosphate, and nitrates, uh, we are higher as well during the southeast monsoon than northeast monsoon, as explained, this may be due to upwelling, local upwelling that's occur along the coast of Tanga in Tanzania. In terms of our zooplankton density per taxa, it has been observed that there is higher zooplankton density in the greatest site than health sites. And it, it, this is due to a uh, higher availability of food resources in the grid site as is revealed by the higher of aqua concentrations in the, in the last slide that we see. So the higher availability of aqua concentration which is by attribute the availability of, 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 of phytoplankton, which are the source of food for the uh, for the zooplankton in the grid site and health sites. But in seasonal wise as well, there's higher uh, uh, zooplankton density during the southeast monsoon than northeast monsoon, as, as revealed by high availability of nutrients and phytoplankton as source of food for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the higher number of organisms. And through clustering spatial analysis, it has been revealed that uh, there are many zooplankton uh, genera that were found throughout the sampling period and it, in all subsites based on status of seagrass. Uh, mainly a calanoids, uh, uh, cyclopoids, hepaticoids, and the other zooplankton genera. This contributes uh, significant to the availability of food, of fish larvae, uh, to fish larvae and then to higher, to higher level of organism, despite of different uh, status of the sickness that we observed. Uh, as well, on uh, diverse indices, we have been observed with higher diverse indices during the southeast monsoon than northeast monsoon. And the high diverse indices as well, uh, we observed in the good side than, than health sites. In uh, fish larvae density, we have observed that the higher fish larvae density we observed in health sites than the grid site. So here, ecological function of, of seagrass was revealed uh, by the health of seagrass. And, and in seasonal wise, higher uh, 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 fish larvae uh, density were observed during the southeast monsoon than northeast monsoon. And this is due to uh, availability of food, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, of phytoplankton, uh, zooplankton are the as the main source of food to to, to zooplankton, and through clustering analysis, it has been observed that most of the common consumed fish families uh, we are found in health sites in health sites than the grid sites. So here we can find the implication that uh, when we degrade the seagrass health, uh, uh, when we degrade the seagrass, it means that we alter 
the ecological function of seagrass to support fish lines. So those are fish families that depend completely on the, on the, on the seagrass habitats when the functionality reduced, it means that we, we, we could lose these, these species which are the most consumed uh, in coastal areas. So in conclusion, uh, uh, there is a clear seasonal heterogeneity of, of zooplankton and fish life is influenced by the combination of factors, including hydrographic and biological factors. And you have been observed that the, the, the zooplankton, you can't link directly to the status of, of seagrass, but for the fish life, you can link directly in the status of seagrass, whereby, whereby we saw that higher uh, abundance of fish, of fish life we observed in health seagrass site than the great seagrass site. Therefore, the conservation strategies of this coastal habitat should take account several factors uh, to ensure uh, uh, the sustainability of fisher resources and the productivity in the future. The study was supported by the Western Indian Ocean Marine Science Association and, uh, and the Marine and Coastal Science for Management for the MASMA programs. And it was, it was the collaboration between Kenya Marine and Fisher Research Institute in Kenya Institute of Marine Science of the University of Paris in Tanzania and Stockholm University in Sweden. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, uh, Fadili, for that uh, very insightful presentation. But because of time, I 